Hello everyone, welcome back to One on One Talks with Self. I pray everyone had a great day on today. New week. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us this far. Uh, yesterday was Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Um, happy Father's Day to my father as well. He is deceased. Rest in peace, Father. Dad, love you to life. Uh, so tonight, I'm going to go ahead and go into the lesson. This is part two of Fruits of the Spirit. This is part two. So last week, I talked about uh, the first five fruits of the Spirit. Those were love, joy, peace, long-suffering, and kindness. And on tonight, I'm going to talk about the last four. There's nine total, but tonight, I'm going to talk about the last four. Goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. So tonight, we're going to start off with goodness. Goodness means upright, uprightness of heart and life. Goodness and kindness. Goodness is seen in our actions. Um, this word relates to not only being good, but also doing good things. Um, 2 Thessalonians 1 and 11 says, Wherefore also we pray always for you, that our God would, would count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness and the work of faith with power. That was Second Thessalonians 1 and 11. I'll read that again. Wherefore also we pray always for you that our, our God would count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness and the work of faith with power um that's goodness faithfulness we're gonna go ahead and go on to faithfulness 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 is evidence of the holy spirit work in our lives faithfulness is a character trait that combines dependently and trust based on our confidence in God and his eternal faithfulness. Faithfulness, faithfulness is a character trait that's, that combines dependently and trust based on our confidence in God and his eternal faithfulness. Um, scripture reference to that, 2 Thessalonians 1 and 11. I read that again. Wherefore, also we pray always for you, that our God would count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness and the work of faith with power um once you listen once you have developed that relationship with god you will start to learn what faithful faithfulness is unto him once you have developed that relationship with god you will start to learn what faithfulness is unto him. You will start to learn what faithfulness is unto him. Next, gentleness. Gentleness was translated meekness in the King James Version of the Bible. But because being meek, seeing weak, uh, modern translations of the Bible use gentleness to mean mildness of disposition. And Baker's in Evangelical Bible Dictionary explains meekness does not identify the weak, but more precisely the strong, who have been placed in a position of weakness where they preserve without giving up. Wow. In Matthew 11 and 29, it states, Jesus described himself as gentle. It says, take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. I love that. Jesus is speaking. 
He said, take my yoke upon you and, and learn of me. For I am meek. God says, I'm meek. I'm gentle. And lowly. Lowly in heart. And you shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy. Take it upon the Lord. Take whatever thing, everything or anything that's burdening you. Take it upon him. He says, my yoke is easy. And his, bur his burden is light. So we don't have to carry any burdens. That's not... Give it to God. And he shall make the load lighter. He will make it lighter. He will. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for making our yoke <laughs> easy. We don't have to carry the burden. Give it to him. And he will make it lighter. I love that. Last one for tonight, guys. Self-control. Self-control is the ability to control one's body and its sensual appetites and desires, physically and mentally, through the power of the Holy Spirit. Self-control relates to both chastity and sobriety, and particularly moderation in eating and drinking. Self-control is the opposite of the works of the flesh that indulge sexual, sensual desires. Sorry, sensual desires. Galatians 5 and 16 says, This I say then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Verse 17 says, For the flesh lusteth, lusteth after, against the spirit. And the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary. The one to the other. So that ye cannot do the things that ye would. Guys, we have to continue to seek God on a daily basis. The word also says. In this flesh. Dwelleth no good thing. It dwelleth no good thing. We want to please God. And not our flesh. We have to seek him daily. It's a daily thing. The flesh dwells of no good things. The flesh wants to do everything. A, B, C, D, E, L. I mean, all the <laughs> letters of the alphabet. But we have to die daily. We have to say, Lord, I just want to be closer to you. I don't want to do the things that my flesh want me to do. Because they're contrary to you. So we have to say, Lord, I need your help. And every day, and I every day to walk with him, we have to say, Lord, continue to work on me. Work on my mind. Work on my heart. I need you like never before. Um, And we can we have to die daily. And by doing this, we to crucify our flesh, we have to read God's word. Continue to talk to him. Continue to get to know him. That way he'll get to know you. <laughs> Fasting, fasting will help crucifying your flesh daily. Fasting. Go go without a certain amount of hours without eating and drinking and see what that does. <laughs> oh, it helps. It helps. You have in this daily walk, walking with God, you have to fast to because <laughs> like I said, this flesh will have no good thing. So you have to fast. Is crucial. Praying. Praying every day. Praying all day. <clears throat> Keep your mind on him. Talking to God and telling him, I need you, Jesus, like never before. I love that self-control. I love it. Self-control. Oh, I want to go off on this person. Oh, I want to sell this person off. Uh-uh. You got to learn self-control. <laughs> God has to help you with that. Whatever you're dealing with. I don't care what it is. He can help you and he will help you. Like I said, 
reading your word, fasting, and praying has helped me <laughs> tremendously. Tremendously. Um, so that's all I had for tonight, you all. I just did the last four of the fruits of the spirit. So there's nine fruits of the spirit. That's love, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. And I, guys, we have to ask God to help us. Um, to portray these fruits of the spirit in our everyday lives. One by one, ask God to help you with one by one each day. Each day. Help, ask God to, Lord, let me portray love today. Let me portray joy. Let me be joy. Let me have joy on today. Lord, I need your peace. I need long suffering. I need your kindness, Jesus. I need goodness. I need faithfulness. I need to be faithful unto you. I need gentleness. I need to be gentle towards towards my brother, towards my sister, towards my, that has rule over me. I need to be gentle. Self-control, God. I need self-control. Help me to have self-control. Talk to God. Let him know what you need in your everyday life. Start seeking him. Seek him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So that's all that I had for tonight, you all. I pray that you all have had a blessed, I pray that you all have a blessed week. And I shall see you back here on next Monday night. Be blessed.